is starvation mode real? That's what we're talking about today. Starvation mode is this idea that your calories can go so low, too low, to the point that your fat loss will just stop. So you've taken your calories down, your metabolic rate slows down so, so much that your fat loss will stop and people will tell you that your calories are too low and thus you can't lose weight. And it's kind of a myth. So what we're going to do in this video is explain why. And this is, we're going to use an absolutely famous study, the Minnesota Semi-Starvation Study, and here it is. So basically what they did was they took a bunch of guys in the wartime era, and this is their really high energy expenditure that needed 3,500 calories, and they crashed their food intake down to like 1,500 for kind of six months and semi-starved them. And what happened was their metabolic rate, so their total daily energy expenditure, the amount of energy that they used, crash down, down, down. So from kind of beginning at 3,500 down very quickly through 3,000, 2,500, way down to below 2,000 in the end, right? So what happened was in response to being semi-starved, these are guys going from lean, so from 15% body fat down to 5.5% body fat, right? So this is the craziest reduction in metabolic rate, the craziest study in the history of kind of nutrition studies because it was wartime era and these people did something that you couldn't get through the ethics board now. So what we see here is this bit here. This is the deficit, which is what is driving the fat loss. And what we see was that it just collapsed gradually, gradually, gradually. But when they were five, six, five and a half percent body fat, right towards the end, they were going crazy, thinking about food, nothing else. They're keeping them walking miles a day they were still losing body fat, right? So they were still losing fat. Even though it was slower because of all this metabolic adaptation, they were still losing body fat. And this is the study that we shows us that we kind of know that the idea that your calories can go too, lose to, too low to lose fat is kind of a myth, right? The really interesting thing was what happened after this phase was when they refed them. So this is them gradually adding back the calories and then at a certain point, they just let them go ad libitum. So eat as much as they want, and they started eating like 6,000 calories because they were so hungry, right? So I'll show you the this space here. Um, this is it here where they just – and the orange line shows this stuff. I'll put it back on this. It's basically that their metabolic rate, when their fat mass recovered, their metabolic rate recovered. And they measured their resting metabolic rate as well, and it also recovered. So what this showed is that the metabolic adaptations that occur when you lose weight when you diet down, when your fat mass declines through the kind of leptin axis, these generally recover when you return to a normal kind of fat mass. So when, you, when your body fat comes back on, when your weight comes back to its place, your metabolic rate will continue. So this is really important to understand that as you get lean and as you kind of lose weight, you're going to expend less energy. And then as you kind of fat mass comes back on, you'll expend more. And these are kind of, they're normal. This is metabolic adaptation. Part of it is you're getting lighter, but the other part is just the hormonal responses to losing body fat because your body can't give that last 5% of body fat as a guy or last 10% of body fat as a woman away because it will starve. So it is totally natural. These are survival instincts and your body just adapts. Now, there is actually a counter argument to this. So quite a few years later, there was the biggest loser study and this is very different people. These are, these are really big kind of 150 kilo people. And what they did was at the baseline, this is the end of the competition after they lost 60 kilos and this is six years later, and the weight has come back on. But interestingly, this is their resting metabolic rate, which crashed down to like 2,000 calories below. And then their resting metabolic rate never recovered. So starvation mode isn't real, but metabolic adaptation is very real. And when we are losing weight, everybody should be doing some stuff to try and do their best to protect their metabolic rate. So you should be eating sufficient protein. You should be lifting some weights. You should be trying to get some steps in. You should be considering diet breaks, so two-week diet breaks to let your hormones recover, refeeds if you're interested in them. We should be doing sensible stuff to protect our metabolism. And these, these two studies that I've shown you, the semi-starvation, the biggest loser, they're outliers. They're not really for normal people. These are so extreme. But here's a much more normal study. This is one where they took people who are eating 2,800 calories and they reduced the, the they created a 25% deficit in a ward condition. So it was really well controlled. They started, they lost like six kilos. And what they showed was that the deficit, after losing six kilos, 
the deficit collapsed from 700 calories down to kind of, I don't know, 258. And this is the adaptation that we're interested in. So the NEAT, the non-activity thermogenesis, this activity one up here, that is the bit that adapts. And then there's the thermic effect of food and the resting metabolism adapted a little bit. But basically what we know is that as you lose weight, your metabolism adapts and you need to try and protect as best you can from some of these things. And you know, a lot of it is inevitable, but like I said, you can do sensible things. So do not you know, go on a grapefruit diet and do a ton of cardio because you will slow your metabolic rate more than is sensible, more than is necessary. What you can do is just be sensible, eat fish and protein, eat at a sensible meal frequency, do some lifting, do some strength training, get your steps in, do whatever you can to protect your metabolic rate. But generally, the thing that people think of starvation mode is just that they have no idea what they're putting in their mouth because, you know, in the UK, women think that they, when they track stuff, they think they eat 1,500 calories. In reality, doubly label water shows they eat 2,300. In America, it's the same. Guys, it's the same. We massively underreport. So what happens is you get a little bit of slowing, and a little bit of underreporting, we get a bit hungry, and that's generally what's going on when people think of starvation mode. It is just people becoming inaccurate and your body slowing down a bit. Thanks so much for your time. Give us a question if you've got one, and I'll knock it out another day. Thank you.